Garrett Wilson just won Offensive Rookie of the Year, but he's due for even bigger expectations this upcoming season with Aaron Rodgers as his new quarterback. Rodgers is going for it all. Touchdown! Garrett Wilson! So today I wanted to take a quick glimpse into the future to see what the future holds for Garrett Wilson as we will be playing out his entire career until he retires. But that won't be for a while now, so let's check into the present day. Oh my god, Garrett Wilson's only an 83? That's it? Striking Garrett Wilson's overall will be important today because that is just one of many challenges we will have to complete. Become a 99 overall. The rest include becoming a pro bowler, winning a playoff game, having a 1500 yard season, and winning a Super Bowl. If I fail to complete this list of challenges, I will be giving away this signed Garrett Wilson jersey to a lucky subscriber, but you may or may not have to stay until the very end because it may be a dramatic finish. This year's season opener will come against the Baltimore Ravens. And in case you forgot, Garrett Wilson does have Aaron Rodgers now. So we simmed A-Rods in Garrett Wilson's first game together and 28 to 20. Aaron Rodgers gets a dub in his Jets debut, but it wouldn't be all smiles because Garrett Wilson would only have three receptions for 49 yards. Okay, I think we still have some things to work out. You know, Garrett Wilson and Aaron and Rodgers still have to get used to each other. And it would eventually sim to middle of the season and it just wouldn't get any better. So Garrett Wilson isn't even Aaron Rodgers' primary target. It's, it's Corey Davis. To make matters worse, it was week seven and Garrett Wilson still did not have a single touchdown. But Aaron Rodgers isn't playing the best either. 10 touchdowns to 10 interceptions. Are we Jameis Winston? I'm having an under 500 record at three and four. I decided to sim to the end of the season. But we only finished one game above 500 at nine and eight. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers had statistically one of his worst seasons of all time 24 touchdowns and 21 interceptions what was good to see was garrett wilson finally got things back on track eclipsing a thousand yards and only finishing with four touchdowns okay we would like those reception numbers to get up but a thousand yards uh, that is fine love to see it garrett and furthermore his overall would go up to an 85 to end his second season with also leveling up to superstar dev okay not a terrible second season for garrett wilson i mean the expectations were definitely higher but it is what it is we'll take it but we didn't love to see was Aaron Rodgers regressing. Yeah, I mean, he's 39 years old. I mean, what uh -huh. can you really do? Just give me one or two more seasons, A-Rod, and I'll be happy. And just like that, the NFL draft was finally here, and we would have the 16th overall pick. I'm not gonna lie, Garrett Wilson might need a quarterback when Aaron Rodgers retires. So, Anthony Richardson, you are now a New York Jet. I don't know how you fell this far, but we'll take it. I'm not complaining. Okay, so heading into season two, Garrett Wilson is now an 86 overall. I, I don't know. He, he went up from an 85 to an 86, I guess, just from off-season workouts. I don't, I don't really know. Then offseason training would pay off as Garrett Wilson would eclipse his previous season's yardage and receptions and touchdowns, finishing with a very healthy stat line. Okay, we eclipsed a thousand yards again. I would like to see more, but it is what it is. Six touchdowns is really cool though. That is awesome. And Garrett's numbers wouldn't be empty stats because we would end up making the playoffs at 10 and 7, hosting a playoff game for the first time in forever. The Jets made the playoffs and we're hosting? The only bad news is that we have to go up against Patrick Mahomes. But that didn't matter to Garrett Wilson because Patrick Mahomes couldn't play defense. Dude finished with 333 yards and three touchdowns in an absolute shootout, but it wouldn't be in the Jets' favor. 56 to 38. Patrick Mahomes put on an absolute masterclass. But the playoff loss wasn't too depressing because we would end up losing to the future Super Bowl champions. Yeah, that was pretty obvious the Chiefs were gonna win it all. And another thing that was pretty obvious was Aaron Rodgers finally retiring. So it was now Anthony Richardson's time. 78 overall, AR-15 in year number two. And what was good news for AR-15 was Garrett Wilson becoming an 88 overall. Okay, we're slowly but surely getting up there in overall. You love to see it. But what wasn't a good sign was our first season after the Aaron Rodgers era. Six and 11 is not good at all. I'm sorry. Come on, guys. But what's a good sign was Garrett Wilson's production still looked solid. Hey, we got double digit touchdowns for the first time ever. You know that AR-15's first season as a starter looked promising? Garrett Wilson would end up requesting a trade and a very wide receiver needy team would end up trading for him. Garrett Wilson to the Chiefs. And just like that, Garrett Wilson's tenure in New York was finally over. 
Garrett Wilson now on the Chiefs. And he's sporting the number five that he used to rock in college. Okay. And what was even more surprising was that Garrett Wilson boosted up all the way to a 94 overall now. Just five overall shorts of completing our first challenge. And the rest of our challenges involved the winning football games, which yes, we did sir. a lot of this season. 14 and three. By far the best team in the league. And although we won 14 games, Garrett Wilson's stat line wasn't as I expected. Okay, this is literally the exact same stat line that I've seen for the last three years. <laughs> Can we get something different? But Garrett Wilson would have very little time to dwell on the past. I see it a major playoff game this week where he would absolutely dominate and torch the Bills en route to his first ever playoff victory. 44 to 37. What a game. We could take off one of our challenges in winning a playoff game. We would still need a playoff win. So this next game would be so crucial and Garrett Wilson would once again dominate this week helping his team make the Super Bowl we're headed to the Super Bowl yes but what the script writer didn't know is that Garrett Wilson and the Kansas City Chiefs will be facing off against his favorite team we're playing my favorite team I, I guess I can't lose in this situation in fact Garrett Wilson would catch a touchdown in one of the most high scoring Super Bowls of all time and it would finally become a Super Bowl champion Look at Mahomes going crazy. In fact, he would actually score three touchdowns to help Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs hoist up the Super Bowl trophy. Super Bowl champs. Yes, sir. Look at Garrett celebrate. Another seeing so much success with the Kansas City Chiefs in his short tenure there. He would end up leaving and joining the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in free agency for a massive payday. Garrett Wilson fresh off a Super Bowl, now on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Winning that Super Bowl, we check off another challenge, and all we need to do is become a 99 overall, have a 15-yard season, and become a pro bowler. And with now being the number one option on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with a pretty solid quarterback, this should be easy, right? 1,700 yards and 16 touchdowns for Garrett Wilson. Not only that, but we would also win the division at 12-5, and five, but we'll lose in the second round to the Chicago Bears. And because of this amazing season, Garrett Wilson will become a 99 overall, and he would make the Pro Bowl I mean we have finally checked off all of our challenges today. And even though we checked off all of our challenges, I still wanted to see what Garrett Wilson's career would pan out to be. And he would have a pretty solid remaining career. 1,700 yards and 17 touchdowns. And we'd have a couple more good seasons. Another 1,600 yard season and 14 touchdowns. But ultimately it wouldn't lead to any wins as this was how the rest of his career would go. Bouncing around from team to team but never adding a second Super Bowl to his collection. Meaning that singular one with the Kansas City Chiefs was so much more valuable. Garrett Wilson has officially retired. After eight seasons in the NFL, he actually put up crazy stats. This is like a Calvin Johnson, Harry Sanders type of retirement, but just like that, Garrett Wilson has retired. And if you want to see me do this with another player, I did it with Garrett Wilson's best friend and former college teammates, Chris Olave. So if you want to see Chris Olave's career and how it pans out, click right here because that one was one of my favorite videos ever because I'm such a big Saints fan. So go check out how Chris Olave's career goes right here. Click right here.